Hello friend, welcome back to Diesel Mercedes YouTube channel. You might be probably wondering where are we and actually we are in my new garage slash filming studio. And if you are interested how it looks around and what's happening here, I can make a different video about that for you. But in this video we will do the engine oil change on this incredible 1987 Mercedes-Benz turbo diesel. You know this car from many different videos, we did a bunch of service on it, so definitely this is not the first time you see it. And today, for many different reasons, we will do a different way of that engine oil change. One of the reasons the car is wet, today it's raining, so who wants to crawl underneath it and get all that water dripping on him. Also, as you can see, it's beautifully lowered, so again, to getting underneath will be more work. Another reason for this alternative engine oil change is the filter is actually not underneath the vehicle, but it's up here. And there's very easy to access the dipstick pipe, which is right here. So I'm pretty sure you will perfectly agree that that's a perfect scenario for using this Mighty Vec fluid evacuator for this job. Mercedes just came here like 15 minutes ago, that means the engine oil is still hot and, it, and I'm pretty sure you remember how to use this from different videos, so all I have to do remove the dipstick from the engine oil dipstick tube, right? Wipe it clean, put it on the side and insert this tube which I will use to evacuate that engine oil out. When it hits the bottom, I know I will be able to get all that oil out. And I connect it that tube to the evacuator. Again, I'm making sure it's all the way in. It's touching the bottom and I can start creating vacuum here and getting that engine oil out. And you can see, obviously it's a diesel, so the oil is always black after whatever, 500 miles. But it's really black. You can see it in the tube and it will nicely flow into this evacuator and meanwhile when the evacuator is doing its job I can start cleaning around here for example right I don't want to introduce any dirt or dust inside of the motor when I will be opening this okay everything needs to be nice and clean so as you can see with me I perfectly clean that, this is perfect, and the evacuator is doing its job and the level is raising up. And since it's slowly raising, we can actually move on the other part of this job and that's removing that engine oil filter which is right here. I brought some rags already for the spills and I have also this little pan for that filter element. I'm pretty sure you can hear the vacuum from the evacuator, but since we are here, right, let's deal with this. So there are three, two nuts and one kind of bolt or rod. I believe all of them are number 13 sockets. Yeah, all three of them, including the one in the middle. Cool. Okay, I loosen those two nuts, I can remove those. I will continue removing that rod which is right in the middle. And what will be the easiest for me and the least amount of mess is take the rod out. Right, putting it here. Don't forget here is that crusher washer which we will replace. It comes with the filter. Now I can 
separate the filter and the lid only, which is again easier for me. And now I will be dealing with the uh, that filter which is soaked with the oil, so I have to be careful not to make too much mess. And that's all that's really messy, so I got a gloves for that. Right, it sits in the oil, so unfortunately it's all the sun dripping, but it's okay. We have this container right here. After moving it out, I'm just visually checking everything's fine there, right? I didn't have any leaks here. Cleaning it and getting ready for that new filter. So here you can see the new filter, right? It's a man. Interestingly, it's from where I'm coming, made in Czech Republic, right here, right? So this is the way, obviously, here is the handle. This is the way I removed it, so I can put it back nicely, right? If I want, I can first pour some fresh new oil below that filter, right? If I want to be perfectionist and deal with it that way. Now it came with the only one uh, large gasket, which is for that lid. And it came with two crushers, but they are different sizes. So one of them I will be matching for underneath this rod, and it was there. The problem is that Man didn't supply these two O-rings for replacement. So unfortunately, I will have to reuse those, but that's not correct, right? It should be replaced for correct function. There's a little detail, I don't know if you can see, there's a little hole and that always should be free and that should be just oil and not any dirt because if that blocks it will again affect proper functioning of the whole system if you want, if you have a compressor you can blow in this hole and see that the air is coming out or at least you can use this tool, a little pick, right, or the toothpick but don't break the tip in or rather not toothpick and you can just make sure that this passage is open right and it will collect correctly function now here is the top lid and there is the gasket which was supplied right in that man kit and this is basically what seals the whole assembly so I will clean this nicely right I will pick the new gasket, nicely position it in the place and that will make sure that entire filter housing will be not leaking on the top. So once again here is the new gasket supplied and I am ready to install it on top of here. Now I have this rod and I have brand new two crusher washers this one will be probably too small, I can already see it right, it will not go there so it's the larger one which came with the kit, it's right here and now I can start carefully feeling it, installing it back so I, I will put back both those Nuts, right? They don't have any washers or anything. I will continue with that center. Alright. And I will just do it nice and uh, like a little bit tight. Then I do both, continue with the both nuts. And now those perfectionists who are waiting for the torque. I'm sorry, I have to disappoint you. I don't have that number. What is for the nuts and what is for the middle rod with the crusher washer. I will say use just common sense. Make it nice and snug. Don't over tight it. There's no reason because the fact it will not leak is that o-ring which is there and not how much, how much torque you will put on all these. And that should be just perfect. Now we need to fit
fill the engine with the new oil and if we look in the owner's manual which came with the vehicle it says it's a 8.5 US quarts and here are the viscosities which can be used on this engine. So in our place and in our weather we decided to use this one right obviously it's a diesel 15 W40 and we will start pouring it there. Since it needs so much I will obviously make sure I don't spill anything always pay attention it's over 8 quarts so I will pour seven without any hesitation and then I will start checking my dipstick. Obviously the vehicle has to be on perfectly leveled ground, otherwise your measurement will be not correct. So I poured like seven and a half, I have a little bit remaining in this one. Let's go and check what is inside. And okay, I see it. Actually, the oil is touching the maximum mark at this moment. Cool, that's perfect. And that means that I can remove everything from here. Right? I will close this valve cover right here, that filler. And we are able to start the motor, the engine, run it for let's say one minute and then shut it off. Wait five minutes and take the final level measurement. So now when it runs, I am of course checking for possible leaks, right? I'm looking around my oil filter housing. It's not leaking there. I didn't do any work underneath, so I don't have to get there. Just rechecking everything. And I will shut off that. And we waited way over five minutes, so um, we'll take that dipstick out and clean it right first I will wipe it off it's perfectly clean and now I can get the final measurement and we will find out if we have to add more oil now looking on that right here it's very very slightly below that max the maximum is here on that red so I can add a little bit which I will or you just leave it if you are missing one millimeter that that's okay because the range is big and that's basically finished so my friend I hope you enjoyed this video uh, you possibly learned something or you just hang out uh, around the Mercedes diesel engines it's all great make sure you are subscribed because I have way more videos coming your way on this channel soon Thanks for watching and have a nice day.